Uh, we're going to talk about the on deck circle, the preparation that you're having on deck and then moving into the batter's box in a game. In this video, we're going to talk about something very valuable that I really think you need to pay attention to and steal. Uh, we're going to talk about the on deck circle, the preparation that you're having on deck and then moving into the batter's box in a game. What should you be thinking in between the pitches to get ready for that next pitch? And I got the man who's got all the answers right here. Former MLB hitter himself, former MLB hitting coach and current hitting coordinator for the San Francisco Giants, Jacob Cruz. What do you got? Like, what's your thought process? What's your routine on deck? And then let's walk it all the way into in-game at bat and what you're thinking about in between. All got? right. Well, on deck, you know, whether you use a heavy bat or a light bat, it's your preference. Some Most players like a heavy bat. Some studies show that using a light bat is better. So it's up to you. Uh, you got guys like Christian Yelich, you know, an MVP caliber player who gets on deck and he doesn't swing at all. He mentally prepares for the at-bat. He focuses in on lining up his body. And his thought is that if he can find the feel and get the alignment that he's looking for, it doesn't matter what the pitcher throws. He's going to get a hit if he finds what he's looking for. So again, it's individualized, uh, whatever you feel comfortable. But the one thing I can tell you when you're on the on-deck circle is, you should be trying to slow your heart rate down. You should be trying to relax and get ready to battle in the box. I should not be trying to think about the outcome or I'm going to get a fastball and I'm going to pull it. Those are incorrect thoughts. I'm trying to get into the box with as little thought as possible. What was your routine on the on-deck circle when you were a player? I'm sure it changed over because you had a very long career. I'm sure you did different things and... and had different routines but what were some of the things that you did as a player coming up well i enjoyed swinging a really heavy bat and at times there wasn't a bat heavy enough and so i would swing a sledgehammer on the on deck circle it looked kind of goofy but it helped me and that's all that that was important and uh, so when you're swinging there, are you taking like full regular swings or are you just kind of going nice and easy kind of get everything loosened up or how is that or a little bit of both that's a great question i think it depends on how you feel. If you're sluggish that day and you feel like your body's aching a little bit, I might have to swing a little bit harder just to get my body going. If I feel great, I don't have to swing as much. I don't need that much weight. So knowing your body and knowing where you're at in, in relationship to going in the box and competing uh, is going to give you an idea of what you should be doing on, on the on-deck circle. All right, so take us from the on-deck circle. We're walking up to the plate now. We get in here. What kind of routine do you have there? Um, talk about the in-between pitch thought process, uh, you know, before the pitcher throws the next pitch. What do you got? Well, I'm a big believer in routines, and you're going to see this a lot at the big league level, right? Guys are going to get in the box, and they're going to have their same routine. Uh, whatever that is, it's going to be the same every time. Even the way they walk up to the plate is important. Your mind finds comfort in the repetition, so it knows what it's trying to do when you get in the box and I have my routine laid out. So I think it's very important to know what your routine is when you get into the box. So now we've got a pitcher, let's say he goes and he gets uh, strike one on you. What are you thinking about before that next pitch is thrown? Yeah, it, it happens so fast and the game is always happening so fast, especially when you don't feel very good at the plate. But in that particular moment, I'm stepping out, I'm taking a deep breath, trying to control my heart rate, and I'm going to ask myself two questions. Did I see the pitch? Did I really see the pitch? Did I see the seams on the pitch? And if that pitch was a strike, could I have swung? And if I say yes to both of those things, I saw the pitch and I could have fired off a swing, then there's no adjustment that's needed. But if I say no to one of those, I didn't see the ball very well, I don't think I could have fired off a swing, then I have to make a change. I have to make an adjustment to, for the next pitch. If I don't make an adjustment, more than likely, I'm already an out. That's great information. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is valuable, valuable information. This stuff is not talked about enough. I feel like these days we're just talking about how do we swing the right way? Are we swinging down? Are we swinging up? You know, swing mechanics are a big talk. 
um, which is important, don't get me wrong, but we were talking about the swing versus hitting. And I wanna talk about that in another video, but before we get to that, what do you got on your bat here? I got the Line Drive Pro Trainer. Uh, it is designed for simplicity of coaching. If you want to learn proper bat path, I'm gonna put this on my bat and I'm gonna fire a ball right back up the middle. If I'm able to do that, I know my barrel is staying long through the zone and as long as possible. Gives me the highest percentage for quality contact. It's a great training tool. Jacob actually invented this. Really great. The kids love it. They, it's fun for them for whatever reason they put it on. They love shooting the balls out there. Uh, you know, but doesn't need a whole lot of instruction. Who could use it? Any kid, any dad that wants to get out there with, with their son or daughter, any mom that wants to get out there with son or daughter, it's any skill level, any age. Great training tool. Definitely recommend checking it out. I'll leave all the information down below. If you got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer for you. And we'll see you in the next video. We're going to talk about the swing versus being an actual hitter. I love it. Let's go.